Jibble Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Jibble, the best free timesheet software for your business. Jibble is a powerful and user-friendly tool that helps you track time, attendance, productivity, and costs for your team. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an account with Jibble and explore the different options and settings of the platform. You can also learn how to invite members to your team and how to manage off time for your team in Jibble. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Jibble, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Start Now button, which will take you to the registration page. On this page, you'll be presented with two options, create a new organization or join an existing organization. Since you want to create a new organization, choose the first option. After selecting create an organization, you'll be redirected to another page. Here you can sign up using different methods such as your Facebook account, Google account, Apple ID, or by providing your email address. Select the option that best suits your preferences for creating your account. Once you've successfully signed up for a new account, you'll be taken to yet another page where you'll need to provide more information about your organization. Enter your organization's name, choose your country, provide your mobile number, select an industry that best represents your organization, and indicate your organization's size. Once you've completed this step, click on the Continue button. Following that, you'll be guided through on-screen prompts to personalize your account further. Once you've completed the account personalization process, you'll be directed to your account dashboard. From here, you can start using Jibble and explore its features. Once you've accessed your account dashboard, you'll notice its user-friendly and straightforward interface. The dashboard features a convenient left-side menu that houses important tabs, each serving a specific functionality to facilitate seamless navigation and organization. The Dashboard tab provides a comprehensive overview of tracked hours, activities, and locations. You can view this data on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. On the right side of the dashboard, you'll have the option to switch between your organization's dashboard and your personal dashboard. This allows you to easily compare and analyze tracked hours, activities, and locations specific to both aspects. Under the Timesheets tab, you can access and review your timesheets and approvals. Furthermore, this section enables you to export timesheets in both XLS and CSV formats for convenient record keeping and reporting purposes. For real-time tracking of your team members' locations throughout the workday, the Live Locations tab is available. From clock in to clock out, you can monitor their live locations, enhancing visibility and ensuring better coordination. The Time Off tab is divided into two sections, Overview and Leave Balance. In the Overview section, you can easily record and add time off for your team members, with these details automatically reflected in the timesheets and reports. The Leave Balance section allows you to create custom leave policies, assign them to specific team members, and keep track of your team's leave balances effortlessly. Under the Reports tab, you can access and review various informative reports such as Tracked Time Reports and Attendance Insights Reports offering valuable insights into your team's productivity and attendance trends. Additionally, you can conveniently export these reports to external files for further analysis and sharing. Lastly, the Settings section empowers you to manage various aspects of your organization, including people management, time tracking configurations, work schedules, time off policies, holiday settings, and more. This centralized control ensures a streamlined setup tailored to your organization's unique requirements. Now, let's see how to add or invite members in Jibble. To add or invite new members to your team in Jibble, follow these simple steps. First, navigate to the left menu and click on Settings to expand the Settings section. Once the Settings section is expanded, click on People to access the page where you can view your current team members. To add new team members, click on the Add Members button located on this page. Upon clicking, a right sidebar will open, providing you with two options to invite users to your team. The first option is to Invite by Link. If you wish to invite members using a specific shareable link, click on the Invite by Link section in the right sidebar. Once you do this, a unique link will be generated. You can then copy this link and share it with the member you want to invite to your team. 
Alternatively, you can also invite members using their email addresses and phone numbers. To do this, choose the Invite by Email and Phone Numbers option in the right sidebar. You'll be presented with two options, Send Email Invite and Send SMS Invite. If you wish to invite a member via email, tick the radio button next to Send Email Invite. Then enter the full name, email address, and phone number of the person you want to invite. However, if you prefer to invite them via SMS, tick the radio button next to Send SMS Invite and provide the full name, email address, and mobile number. Note that when using Send SMS Invite, the mobile number becomes a required field, while the Send Email Invite, the mobile number is optional. Feel free to invite as many members as you need for your team. To invite multiple members simultaneously, click on the Add New Member option and additional fields will appear for you to fill in their details. After entering all the necessary information for the members you want to invite, click on the Save button to finalize the invitation process. The system will then send out the invitations to the respective email addresses or phone numbers, and your new team members will be able to join and collaborate with your organization through Jibble. Next, let's see how to add time off for your team in Jibble. Managing time off for your employees in Jibble is easy with its Employee Vacation Tracker, allowing you to efficiently add time off and handle time off requests within the platform. When adding time off, you'll be able to see the total number of leave days a member has remaining based on the entitled amount set for the time off policy. To add time off for your team, start by navigating to the left menu and clicking on the Time Off tab. This will lead you to the Time Off page, where you can view all the existing time off that you've previously added. If you haven't added any time off yet, the page will be empty. To add a new time off entry, simply click on the Add Time Off button. Doing so will open a right sidebar where you can choose the team member for whom you want to add time off. Once selected, proceed to pick the appropriate time off policy, such as medical leave or vacation leave, from the available options. After selecting the policy, specify the start and end dates for the time off period. If necessary, you can also include a note related to the time off request. Double check that all the information is filled in correctly, and when you're ready, click on the Save button to finalize the process. The time off you've added for your team member will now be displayed in the Overview section of the Time Off page, allowing you to keep track of the time off requests and effectively manage your team's time off allocations. With Jibble's intuitive interface and powerful features, handling time off for your team becomes a streamlined and efficient task. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Jibble. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.